Whoa! Hey, Space Cadets! Welcome back to Out of This World Arts and Crafts! Yay! All right, so this week we're gonna make drum roll, please. Solar system wreaths. Ta-da! So we got the solar system on here, and I've labeled each planet and the sun in our solar system. So keep on watching if you want to make this craft with me. All right. So for our solar system wreath, here's just a little close-up version of it. There's a string so we can hang it either on your bedroom door or on your front door or on your fridge, wherever you'd like. Um, I chose to do our solar system. If you don't want to do that and if you just want to do some stars and maybe a couple planets that you want to make up or make your own solar system, that's totally fine too. Um, and then I chose to put some labels on there so I knew exactly which one went where. All right, so supplies. We need for sure a paper plate, either black markers or black paint. I went with black paint because it looks pretty clean when you're done. Um, it just it makes it look more like the night sky. Uh, Multicolored construction paper. That way you can cut your planets out of that. Or if you don't have that, you can just use regular white paper and then choose to do markers so you can get some designs on your planets and stars. A pencil and multiple round objects that you can you know, draw the shape of your planet. That way, if you want a perfect circle, or close to a perfect circle like that, it makes it easier to trace and put on your wreath. Uh, you also need glue and a paintbrush, and of course, our handy dandy scissors. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper plate and kind of fold it in half, just so we're able to get at that center. We're gonna take our scissors and do a little cut. There you go. You can open it up if you like. I kind of just like to keep cutting. Get that center out. Next, we're gonna take our paint brush and our paint. I'm gonna put my paint that I'm gonna use on an extra um, paper plate. And I'm gonna take my brush and paint our wreath. Now if you're at home, I suggest using newspaper or any scrap paper that you have and cover the bottom and go to town. So I'm gonna do that because I don't wanna make a mess. Okay, so when your wreath is dry, and you can tell it's dry when you touch it with your finger and no paint comes up, it's time to work on the planets and our solar system. So you're gonna set your wreath to the side like I just did. And now we're gonna trace our planets. So you can use any circular object to make your planets. I used um, a glitter glue bottle, if you have like a shampoo bottle or a glue stick or maybe like a bottle of ranch, I don't know. Or Bob Ross bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom of it. Any circular object you have at home will do. Most of the planets are just, you know, circular, but I'm going to teach you to do some of the different ones, like the Sun and Saturn, because it has rings. So you can see on my example, I have the Sun have little rays, and then Saturn has a, has a ring. So first we're going to start with the Sun. So the Sun is just a circle. And we're going to cut it with our scissors. And then I'll show you how to do the flares after that. There we go. Okay, so now we have the base of our sun. And I like to add little flares to my sun. You know, the little rays that seem to come out like that. So I'm going to cut some triangles from using the edge of my scrap paper. So just one incision. And then you want to make sure the other incision or cut meets the other one at the top and boom triangle it's gonna do a couple of those some of them are gonna be bigger than the others and that's okay so 
So once you're happy with the amount of flares that you have, you're gonna flip your sun over to the side that you don't want shown and put some glue on there. And this is where you're gonna pick up your flares very carefully and press it to the glue. Carefully flip it over. Probably when it's dry, it makes it a little easier. And there you have your sun. Okay, next planet I'm gonna show you is Saturn. We're gonna take our round object, circular object on the bottom, place it on this blue piece of paper. You can choose whatever color you want. I just chose blue. And trace to the best of our ability. Beautiful. Take our scissors. Kind of like the sun we're just gonna cut it out just like the rest of the planets once you have your little saturn you're gonna choose a color for it to be the ring i like purple i think blue and purple go really well together so i'm just gonna cut a little ring and i like to line it up with the edge of my paper can be i'm Lucky, I think I'm gonna go to the edge and edge, and I did it like a little dome shape. I'm gonna cut on that line, here it is. There you go. There's the ring, but first we gotta glue it on to Saturn. So I'm gonna flip over the ring, put a tiny, 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 tiny bit of glue, boop, there it is. And glue it on to Saturn. Right, there's Saturn, there's the sun. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trace some more planets using other colored pieces of construction paper and I'll be right back to show you what to do next. Okay, so now it's time to take our solar system and put it on our wreath. So I wrote down a list of the planets that are in our solar system and I put them in order so I knew which ones to start with on the wreath. So the first thing that goes on the um, wreath is the sun. So we're gonna take our glue, put a decent amount in there, not too much where it rushes out, and we're gonna stick our sun on our wreath. Next is Mercury, and I chose this color for Mercury. Then Venus. and Earth. So you're just gonna go down the list. If you don't have the planets cut out, you can just stick your planets wherever you want. Planets and stars, you can put them wherever you would like. I would pause this video, glue all your planets on, and we'll be right back after you're done doing that. Okay, after you're done gluing your planets and sun to the solar system, wait until it is dry and then you can go ahead and if you want to, you can add some designs to your planet so they don't just look like, you know, circles. If you like that look, totally fine, go for it. But I chose to do some markers on the planets just to give it some more characteristics. Uh, I added some, you know, land on the earth and some lines to each planet. So whatever your heart desires, you can go ahead and work on that. Let's see, I'm gonna add some pink to Mars. Maybe add some land to the earth because we don't just live in the ocean, do we? And then to Jupiter, I'm gonna add a couple colors. I think Jupiter could be spiced up a little bit. So I'm gonna add some red and orange. Again, this is the fun part, because it's all up to you. Art's supposed to be pretty creative. You can make it as realistic or not as you want. You can make your own solar system. Maybe it's a solar system where other creatures live. Who knows? I'm gonna add some green to Saturn because I think it could use a little bit. There we go. 
And some dark blue to Neptune. So for the next part, you can either choose to add labels and go from the top of our solar system, Sun, Mercury, Venus, etc. Or you could add some stars to the background, whatever you choose. But for sure, next you're going to need some string of some sort so we can hang it up anywhere in your house. Alright, so I chose to do gold ribbon, that's what I had for our little hanging device. I'm gonna cut a short string, not super short, but just enough so I can make a loop, kind of like that. And I think right there is fine, yeah. So we're gonna join our two ends together best we can, great. Flip our wreath over, great. Now we're gonna take some tape or you can use glue or a stapler, whichever you prefer. I like tape, I think it's more of a secure thing than the glue. I'm gonna put it like this, make sure the ends are still touching. Take our piece of tape, just go over it. All right, now here's another fun part. So like I mentioned before, you can add labels or you can add Maybe you have some gold stars or stickers or you want to draw in there, whatever you want to do. Uh, I just chose to do labels on my first one because I thought it would be a good teaching device later. I'm going to use some sparkly stars I found and just put it in the background so the planets are less lonely. Yeah, looks great. Okay, guys, thanks for joining this week. Uh, stay tuned for next week. I think we're going to need a, quite a bit of supplies. I'll leave a little list in the description. Have a great rest of your week, and keep exploring.